Hey what's up everyone, I'm Andrew and in this video we have Alienware 17, a laptop from 2014. At the first look, this laptop looked just fine, but actually not really. If we take a closer look, we will see that the case is a bit scratched and the rubber over the case has become sticky. This is a common problem with the most older Alienware laptops and with some newer ones. The most affected is the palm rest, which is very usual. And around the camera, where we mostly put our fingers to open the lid. The other problem is, this machine was dropped, which is noticeable to one of the corners. And dropping laptops, especially heavy ones like this one, is a big no-no. So here the result is, the bottom LED strip doesn't work well. Some colors are dim and darker, and some color shades aren't working properly. I mean, if I choose light blue, it's green, or if I select red, then it's orange, and etc. The other problem is the 1TB mechanical hard disk. The disk isn't working, and sometimes I can hear clicks and scratching, which are coming from the disk needle and I'm pretty sure that this is also a result of dropping the laptop. The other problem is the charger. So if you take a closer look in BIOS, we will see that the charger voltage isn't shown. Also using Windows or anything is going pretty choppy and slow. That means the charger is damaged and isn't providing an out power for the system. So you probably didn't know this but a bad charger can cause bad performance. Anyway, I already have one 240 watt charger that is more than an out, and with this charger I have no problems at all. The other problem is overheating, which is very usual with these models. All temperatures while testing were over 90 Celsius, which is pretty much and later, I found some other problem connected with a GPU. Well, and let's start with disassembling. Also, I got a few questions, like, do I use some professional tools for restorations? Actually, not really. How you can see, I'm using a very basic things, like one screwdriver, one sponge stick, one tweezer, and organizer for screws and some parts. Also, I got question, how can I remember all parts when I disassemble something? So sometimes I do remember I have worked this job for a pretty long, since 2007. But also I'm using organizer. If you are a beginner, you can use some organizer also. Also inside you can put some paper with name from where you have taken out some part. Or simply you can take pictures or video with your phone. So later it will be much easier to put back all together. So in general, you don't need anything from professional tools if you want to clean, upgrade or mod your laptop or desktop computer. You need a few basic things, a little more time and will to do it. And something about specs. This laptop is coming with very respectable specs. The CPU is Intel i7 4910MQ. The GPU is Nvidia GTX 880M with 8GB of GDDR5 video memory. The RAM is 16GB in total, and there are two disks, one 256GB mSATA and the other is 1TB mechanical disk, which is not working, but anyway, not bad at all.
Well, and disassembling is complete. But now, let's move to cleaning. And I will start with the CPU, GPU and the motherboard. The CPU and the GPU request more attention. They both have a very tiny components around, which mostly are covered with a dry thermal paste and aren't visible. So here, to clean the boat I will use a plastic spudger stick, cotton buds, 96% isopropyl alcohol and few brushes. And using some sharp tools or metal tools, it's a big no here. Actually, it's a big no to any electronics. So, the motherboard is clean, together with the GPU and the side part, but here I found another thing. The GPU is a little bit burnt to the corner, just one component, and a few layers below are also burnt. So what we are going to do? Simply we are gonna do nothing here. Probably you will ask, but why? So first, the GPU is working perfectly fine, the component that was in a short circuit has burned down and it's isolated by itself, so no short circuit anymore. The GPU is working perfectly fine and it will continue working with no problems. So basically I won't open some problem because there's no problem. Now let's continue with cleaning the other parts and electronics. Also while cleaning the electronics I always check if there's some problem do I need to repair or change something and etc. Also here I used a few brushes, cotton buds, 96% isopropyl alcohol and compressed air. Well, and I'm on the keyboard now, and a few words about it. Cleaning this type of keyboards needs to be done carefully, and here mostly I'm cleaning each key separately, using a little of 96% alcohol and cotton buds. Also I'm using a few brushes and basically that's it. If we spill some liquid over the keyboard, we may damage the entire keyboard, even including a pure alcohol as I'm using now. And the last thing is the display. Also here needs more attention. We can allow the liquid to pass the sides and enter to the inside. And cleaning needs to go with gentle pressing. Heavy pressing and sharp things aren't allowed here. And the back side of the display can be cleaned using a brush only or compressed air no cleaning clothes or any type of liquid. Because if we damage the backside foil, the display will work, but we will have a shadows all over the display. And all the electronics are clean. But now let's move to the case. This type of case it's a bit harder to mod, but anyway, I will paint and mod the case because to fix the sticky case and also make a one new and fresh look. So first I start with removing some other parts from the case, like the bottom LED strip. Later I remove the plastics from the USB ports. I have done this because these plastics are shiny and I want to keep them in that way. On the bottom case I remove the metal part which has a product information 
like the laptop specs, laptop model, and etc. And I removed the both stickers. Carefully, because I will return it the bolt on the case, but from the inside. And the last thing. To the top of the case, I have to fix the curved aluminium. So here I used some cloth to avoid scratches. I used hammer and a long nose pliers. Here between the bezel and the case was a gap from about a 1mm. It's not a lot, but you know, it looks ugly. Anyway, after some work, the gap is gone and the case is like a new again. And as final, I protect some cables from the top case and I clean the top case. Also, the other plastics that are without any electronics, I wash them using soap and water. And after this cleaning process, the case is perfectly clean and ready for the next step. And the next thing is, I start with taping the case, because to protect some other parts. So later, we'll have a better aesthetics. After I finish with taping, I move to painting. So first, I apply a plastic primer. The plastic primer will make a fundament for the painting. And later, the painting will be much more durable and quality. And later, I paint the case using a deep black made spray. And with this spray, I apply a two full layers and one additional layer which is made from tiny drops. I made these drops because I want to get something like a fusion crust effect. Like some object that falls through the atmosphere or something like an alien spaceship that just comes down from space. Actually, I want to add a, some story connected with this laptop. Also, making a quality paint is not a one day job, mostly to get a good and quality paint that will last a very very long takes about 3 to 4 days. In this case, I apply a plastic primer, then I painted the case, then I waited about an 8 hours until the paint gets fully dry. Then I made some corrections and I paint the case again, so waiting again 8 hours and after that I paint the final layer and again waiting until all gets dry. So, it took some time, but the final result is great. And finally, all the parts are ready for assembling. But before we start, I bought some upgrade parts. I got a 512GB MSATA SSD, which is going to be a primary disk or a local disk C. Also I got one 960GB 2.5 inch SSD, which is going to be a secondary disk or local disk D. And I bought 32 GB of RAM, which is the maximum what this laptop supports. Also, I bought this RAM as used, isn't new, but it's much cheaper, and it will do the same great job as the new one. So now, let's assemble this machine.
and the assembling is complete. Now I move to making all checks. Some testing, installing windows and drivers, making some customization and I have done one more final shining up. And after we made all these changes, this is the final result. Well, now let's take a closer look. So this machine is great for almost everything. The case has a unique paint and the design is still modern and looks pretty cool. This machine is great for almost everything. Great to play games, great to do some work or study, great for listening to music. The audio has a pretty great quality. This machine also has a great features and more. Also, I made an additional video where I will explain more things in detail. And there we will do a more game tests and see more things and features. The video link you can find in the description below the video or at the end of the video or you can check my channel. So let's move there. In this video, I can say that I'm really glad because I made this laptop better and because it's fully functional again. Also, I want to say I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope this video will give inspiration to fix some things and make them better. And if you want to support my channel and my work, you can press the subscribe button. Also, I want to say a thank you for your attention and time to watch my video and I'll see you in the next one. I try to keep it cool.